Everybody, today we're going to be doing an acid elution uh, because we had a patient that had a positive DAT. Um, they had an autoantibody in the antibody screen. We did a DAT and we found out that it was anti-IgG. Uh, that was causing the sensitization of the red cells. I explained these pictures in the other video. Um, basically what's happening is since we know that the patient's uh, red cells were sensitized with an IgG antibody, uh, we are trying to pull that antibody off and put it into what is called the eluate and test the eluate. It's a liquid solution. We're gonna test the eluate against an antibody identification panel. I am not actually gonna do the anti antibody identification panel um, in a video because we've done um, an antibody ID panel before and um, so you know what that process um, looks like and how it goes. So I'm just gonna show you how to actually do the elution today. So the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to uh, make the wash solution. It's going to be good. As soon as we make it, it will be good for six months as long as it's refrigerated <clears throat> and it's not turbid. So I'm gonna get that started. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, so the whole idea of this actual um, elution process is to wash the um, wash the uh, red blood cells that are sensitized with a buffered wash, um, and then to make the pH go down um, to be more acidic, so that we denature the two proteins. Um, the antigen and the antibody to remove the antibody from the red blood cell. And then we bring the pH back up to make it so that um, the antibody is actually um, functional. And then we are going to test it against an antibody identification panel. So the the kit comes with a concentrated wash solution here that I have to um, turn into a actual working wash solution. So I have to add uh, deionized water to uh, this solution and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then as soon as that's ready, it's perfectly ready to start working um, on the procedure. The other, um, so what does it contain? It actually, this, the con concentrated wash solution contains a buffered solution um, that we're going to make a 1 to 10 dilution with um, our reagent water. And then it also contains 1.1% uh, sodium azide as a preservative. Uh, the working wash solution is going to be isotonic and is going to buffer um, going to buffer the whole thing, um, buffer the cells and uh, a provide an appropriate ionic strength for the washing of the red blood cells so that we can uh, free, um, we can remove any unbound antibody. The eluting solution over here is a low pH um, glycine buffer and what's it, what it's going to do is it's going to remove that antibody uh, from from the washed red cells. Okay, it doesn't have any preservative whatsoever. And then the buffering solution that we have over here, okay, is, um, is a solution that has bo um, cow uh, protein, bovine albumin, uh, and it's going to neutralize the acidity that the eluding solution um, put into the eluate um, to make it so that the red cell came off, sorry, the, um, <laughs> the antibody came off of the red cell with this low pH, and then um, the buffering solution is going to bring that pH up just like I had told you. Okay, so <clears throat> this one does have a... Uh, preservative and the the preservative is um, also 0.1% sodium azide 
And it also has a blue indicator in it so that when the pH comes back up to where it should be in order for the IgG to work in an antibody identification panel, um, it turns blue. So that's gonna be really cool. And I look forward to seeing that with you. Okay, so let's get this started. I've got to uh, readjust my camera real quick. I'll come back. So I have an Erlenmeyer flask here that um, I made sure was clean in order to make the, um, the working wash solution. So they tell you to take the entire bottle of this concentrated wash solution and pour it into the container you're going to use. Okay, so again, this is a 1 to 10 dilution. Um, so this has 25, oh, sorry. Um, so this has uh, 50 milliliters in it. Can you see? See up at the top here, 50 milliliters in it. So I have to add my water all the way up to the 500 to make the uh, 1 to 10 or 1 in 10. Okay, so I'm just going to add my water up to that point, and then my wash solution will be ready to go. I'll finish up off camera. Okay, so I added all the way up to the 500, and now my wash solution is ready to go. Um, I'm going to label, this is an Erlenmeyer flask. So it's calibrated for the amount that's listed there. This is accurate. So this is um, working wash solution. Um, and I made it today, 10, 25, 17, and my initials. Okay, and when I'm not using this, I am going to go ahead and uh, parafilm the top of it because we will be using it in class some more and that way um, you know students don't have to make this themselves um, you know parafilm the top right here um, and it won't spill everywhere.